Ahoy there! Today be vlog day 990. <laughs> Good morning. It is actually afternoon time here for me. I've been doing a little bit of cleaning house in more ways than one. This place was a mess. I actually have mostly tidied it up now. You can actually see if I tilt this back a little bit, we'll see how dangerous this is. Reorganizing the shelves above my head, which is great. Finally putting the books on this end, which is where they need to be so you can actually see the spines. Because over here, the, yeah, everything was, it's just, well, you know, it's, it's just been a mess. I also made some progress on two fronts today. And this kind of leads me into, today's going to come to you in three parts, broken down into multiple mini parts. Hopefully it all makes sense. But kind of just dealing with internet humanity. And also dealing with humanity in person as well. And the reason that it's important to talk about dealing with humanity in person is look who got his sunglasses repaired. I went to an optometrist uh, and just walked in and was like, hey, do you guys have like a tiny little screwdriver? Because I have another pair of sunglasses that I'm pretty sure I can cannibalize the screw from to fit on these. Because uh, the arm had come off. I don't know where that screw went. And the guy was like, ah, oh, hold on. I probably have an extra one. Just went downstairs, found a screw, put it back together, gave them to me, didn't charge me anything. Really nice. That was really kind of him. So that's the start. I can leave these on for a minute for those of you that are missing. People have actually commented about missing these. And the other thing I did was I bought some flowers from a guardian. If you're not familiar with how uh, French real estate works, sometimes you end up with what's called a guardian. It's a kind of like a property manager who sits at the front and gets everybody's mail and generally just, you know, runs the show. Oh, that smells really good. I didn't smell these yet. They smell, they smell like fresh berries. Anyways, I uh, occasionally get her chocolate or flowers to make sure that I stay on her good side because you want to stay on the good side of your guardian. Uh, and I definitely managed to find myself a little bit on her bad side a couple weeks ago with a mistake that I made. Not entirely my fault, but that's okay. We're not gonna get into it. I'm just trying to make sure that we're all good. So I I, mean, I, I got her some flowers. It's been a while anyways, so yeah. Nope, that's dangerous. Let's just put these over here. Let them enjoy some sunlight. The other thing, of course, is my drone situation yesterday. Madai and Carnley down in Carcassonne were very, very were amazingly kind and actually went and got my drone for me. Okay, really quick last minute aside, because I've already put everything together, but I'm going to show you a really quick clip of Carnley going and saving it. I got it. There's a lot in here that I feel like I need to dedicate more time to later. So thank you guys again. Thank you so much for I, the, the, <laughs> just just three really quick clips, and then and then we'll continue on with the rest of the video as planned. Okay, I promise I won't yell at you if you can't get it. All right, I'll see what I can do. My watch is waterproof. It's right there. Jay, you got a bunch of creepy followers here in Carcassonne. There it is. You're Sorry, awesome, hon. Jay owes me a steak dinner when I get to Paris. A steak dinner? <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Moving back to the Moving back to the couch. And especially as we approach a thousand vlogs, like we're 10 days away from a thousand vlogs, which is insane in and of itself. To think that like all of that has somehow turned into making real connections with people around the world and being able to kind of reach out and just talk to whoever, wherever you are, is really, really cool. Not that I, not that I have this mastered yet. Not that I really know what I'm doing on that front yet, but we're gonna talk about that because there's a slightly, whoa, how zoomed in was that? There's a slightly negative side of things too, which has shown itself from time to time over the last couple of years on YouTube, um, but I feel like it's kind of on the rise. And some of it's really benign and small. Some of it's a little bit bigger and more in your face and a little bit more obvious. And so I wanted to talk about those two things a little bit today too. Both the good that's coming around and, and the not so great, how I've handled it in the Past, how I think I've actually screwed up on handling it in the past and how I would like to handle it in the future and how I, th I think that you can be a part building something really positive with me, something really healthy and good over the long haul, uh, rather than succumbing to, you know, attempts or uh, temptations towards negativity and just kind of a little bad stuff. Of course, if you've been watching for a long time, you know how much I really enjoy interacting with people and how I, uh, I try to answer like every comment on YouTube that I can. I've made some mistakes with that, but I wanted to say that I really appreciate it. If you take the time to watch and leave comments and interact, it's great. Keep doing it. And that, that is one of the things that's really important. If you hear nothing from this video, just hear, keep hanging out, keep being cool. That's, that's great. Because like I said, this project, this experiment, if you will, has led to some really, really cool interactions and introductions. I've met some fascinating people from all over the world. I've met people all over the world. And that makes for a really cool opportunity to stop and talk with somebody and get to know somebody that wouldn't happen otherwise. And I think I'm really, really fortunate for that. On the downside, this has been a season in my life of discovering some of the unfortunate decisions that I have made, some of like the less than ideal friendships that I've made. And it's been a long period. For those of you that have been watching my vlog since the beginning, you know that I'm coming out of a really 
really dark and destabilized place and I had made a lot of mistakes but I also had to make some really dramatic moves in my life to basically save myself and while that has been overall very good and led me to a very good place I've also still made some mistakes along the way and let some people into my life along the way that weren't the best influences or had the best impacts on me as a person and I've gone been going through a little bit of a season of kind of finding that out the hard way in some ways, which is why I kind of have had some ups and downs in the last couple weeks. And also just, you know, just trying to sort through this because I'm the kind of person that wants to make sure that my relationships remain healthy. You know, obviously if a relationship is unhealthy or is, is, is not the right thing, there comes a time and a place to walk away from those. But there's also for me a real strong desire to try and figure out how to make things right with the people that I think it's possible to make things right with. That said, there are different tiers of relationship in my life that are forming that don't exist or haven't existed before, including online internet relationships with people that I've never met before but who watch me on the internet every day, which is also something really fascinating great and uh, and I wouldn't put myself out on the internet every day if I didn't if I didn't believe in that and I didn't believe in the power in that and I didn't think that there was something really cool and valid in that because most of it is actually really really cool when people meet me in person a lot of times the first thing they say is like I I this is so weird because I know so much about you and you don't know anything about me I get that don't worry about it I've been through the ringer on that front enough times that it doesn't really it's not weird to me anymore like and, it, and it, I don't know that it was ever that weird to me because I'm putting my life on the internet every day and if you watch that you're going to know more about me than I'm going to know about you by the nature of things. So that's not weird. It's how people end up handling that and interacting with that that could make it weird. But 95% of the time, like I've had really good experiences, especially in person, meeting people in Paris, meeting people in India, random spots along the way. By and large, it's been very, very positive. The kind of one of the things that I've been thinking about, and one of the reasons that I thought about making this video was largely because of the positivity that's come out of it. And so thankful for help getting my drone back. Just a lot of the interactions and I don't know, the participation, people coming and playing the game and giving me feedback. I need to talk more about that as this week goes on. There's so many good things that come out of it. On the negative side of things, it's mostly like small things. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram and have been watching my Instagram stories, a lot of you became familiar with uh, a character who will not necessarily remain nameless, but I, there was a person who it felt like was trolling me in the comments, but didn't realize she was trolling me because she was very, very passive aggressive in all of her comments and kind of just insulted me on a regular basis, insulted my intelligence, insulted my taste in music, and then somehow buddied up with me over the point of our share intelligence to still belittle my feelings or I don't know belittle the world around us I'm not sure but over time it just kind of was like how tone deaf is this person really and I wound up sharing some of those comments on my Instagram stories because I felt like that was a, a safe temporary place to kind of share a little bit of what I get every day in one dose or another of like how does this person not hear themselves and I have a pretty hard line which I think most of you are familiar with if people are xenophobic or uh, you know just racist or misogynistic or flat-out hostile or just you know are basically intentionally being harmful or negative to myself or the people that are around me I go ahead and just block them right away because there's no point in keeping that around like I don't need it nobody does nobody wants that it's not gonna help anything and there's no engaging that so just remove it it's just not it's not okay and it's not that often that it happens but you know I'm at this point where now it's happening if not once a day definitely a few times a week and so trying to figure out how to properly handle that is important because on the other side you never know if people just maybe English isn't their first language maybe it's a late night when they write a comment maybe they're a little bit drunk maybe they're a little bit blunt or maybe they just weren't thinking when they typed it and so for me like just because somebody is like negative or critical or kind of being a jerk doesn't mean that I'm gonna block them right away. This person was one of those people that was persistently just kind of being a jerk. And at first I engaged with it a little bit and then I ignored it and then it just kept going and so eventually I was just like, okay, bye, because I don't have time for this. It was a little bit entertaining and I got a bunch of comments through Instagram, people saying that they were sad that I had blocked this person because they were enjoying the ongoing just ridiculousness of their comments. But I personally just, you know what, I have to see that every day. Like that, and that makes its way into your head. Like you see these things and these slow drips even if they're not factual even if they're not true uh, if they're mean if they're cruel they kind of work their way in slowly over time and they affect your mental health they affect the way you see the world they affect the way they, they you see yourself I don't have time for that like I my life life is short enough as it is and I'm trying to accomplish as much as I possibly can with it I'm trying to live as good of a life as I can and I'm in the midst of trying to figure out what does that even mean what does it mean to live a good life what does it mean to be a good person what does it mean to do the best that I can with what I have 
and execute on that. And the last thing I need is random detractors who have nothing better to do with their time than sit on YouTube and insult my taste in music. I don't have time for that. The danger is, of course, when I talk about this, when I talk, I, I, I'm always really scared to talk about the comments section because generally the, my comments section is unbelievably positive and wonderful and nice. Part of that is because the content that I create attracts, you know, the types of people that are going to just be fun to talk with, I guess. I don't make a lot of negative videos. Every time I make a video that could have a negative spin on it, I pay the price for that, whether that's 10 shocking things about Paris or like when I got really pissed off at Ryanair and went off on them, which they deserved and I stand by it. But at the same time, you know, I probably could have thought through things a little bit better or presented a little bit better. It doesn't matter. Those kinds of things draw people out of the woodwork and, and I try to avoid that kind of stuff just because it's not really beneficial and it's people like watching it and conflict and controversy makes for pretty good content at the same time that's not that's not really who I am I'm not trying to gear up for a fight and to be honest we're surrounded by that enough as it is on the internet like you cannot escape from it I would hope to create in my YouTube channel kind of a safe escape and it's one of the reasons why I avoid talking about my politics talking about religion talking about certain elements of my relationships you know a variety of subjects that I just think are probably a little bit more incendiary than constructive through this medium if we meet in person I'm happy to talk about you know pretty much anything that I believe but that's because within that context we're able to to exchange ideas and make sure that we understand each other. Through the internet, that's a lot harder to do. And through the comment section, it's definitely harder to do. So what you'll notice is, and I'm gonna talk about the comment section here, but when I do so, I, I wanna do, I wanna, I wanna try and do this as best I can. So don't run away, don't not comment. Because the danger is that if you address just kind of the negative things that are happening and you leave it at that, the only people that are gonna hear me when I say that are the people that don't need to hear it. They're, they're the people that are already commenting civilly, that are already kind and constructive, that are already adding the conversation. The people that are going to listen to that are the people that don't need to hear the message. And the people that aren't going to listen to that most likely are the people who you would try to be reaching with that message to say, stop being a jerk. Uh, you know, they're probably not going to hear you. They're probably just going to keep going down that road. So the last thing I want to do is, is comment specifically about anything that's happening in those arenas. But to say instead that the way that I approach it, when I talk about blocking somebody, and especially since I did this on Instagram last night, it's one of the reasons I really feel like I need to make sure that I'm sharing this right now through YouTube for the thousand people or so that saw that. It all comes back down to wanting to create and maintain a safe, positive, fun space. Once, once we lose that in the comments, it, it may never come back. Who knows? I I don't, I don't know. So cultivating that is really important. And when I look at a lot of these comments and I see there was somebody who did explode on me from that Instagram story, I'm assuming because they used the language from my Instagram story in their comment uh, to say that they were unsubscribing and then they insulted me and, you know, left. For one, I'm not going to engage with that because there's no, there's nothing really I can do or say about it. For two, I'm not going to block that person for doing that because being upset with me, leveling an insult at me, whatever, it's not that. I mean, that, that happens every day. I'm not gonna block everybody for doing that. And really, I've had people do that and then come back later and apologize and tell me their story for why they ended up doing that, which brings me to kind of what I'm trying to get at, which is the negativity in the comments, unless again, it's very clearly aggressive, trollish, abusive, mean-spirited. You know, a lot of times just flat out critique and negativity, even though I may not directly engage with that because I don't think that's necessarily helpful for me to do, I'm also going to leave it alone because, you know, a lot of those people, you never know what they're going through. We've all heard the quote enough that I think it's a cliche now. Everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about, right? So you never know when someone's projecting something on you, when they're struggling with something in their own life, when they're struggling with their own creativity, their own businesses, their own relationships, their own whatever it is. And it just so happens that something that I say or do creates the proper corkboard for them to stick their angry index card on it and walk away or light the corkboard on fire, whatever it is. That's between them and themselves. Like that's something else. And while they may be doing that in a public space, that, that doesn't deserve really interaction or overt attention. The one person who I was quoting on Instagram, there was a persistence there and like just a level of like, how is this still happening? That if you're going to do that in a public space, you risk you being called out in a public way. And I felt like doing that on Instagram stories was a way of controlling that, that was kind of fun and entertaining in a medium that was temporary and entertaining that hopefully uh, would just, you know, get a little bit of the steam out while also kind of engaging in a little bit of like, well, what can you do? And that's just what you do. When you leave comments on YouTube, when you leave anything on the internet, uh, you're putting yourself out in a public space and that's what it is. But for the vast majority of it, I try to avoid doing that entirely. I try to avoid engaging with it because you just never know where that person is at and you don't want to short change them for maybe, you know, just having a really bad day or a really bad year. Maybe they're in a really dark space. And the last thing I want to do is punch down. 
You know, the last thing I want to do is, is take a dump on them and make it worse. And so that's one of the reasons why I really don't engage with that stuff. This is also why I would ask if you're a regular commenter or somebody who hangs out all the time, you know, you're free to do whatever you want. If you want to jump in there and you want to correct somebody, you want to provide them with the information that they're asking for, you want to engage in a conversation, that's cool. I would just ask that you also don't engage in harmful, abusive, or attacking, ad hominem, mean-spirited anything. If you're going to engage with anybody in the comments section, ideally, I'm just asking, Obviously, you can do whatever you want because it's a free country. <laughs> it's a free internet, at least. I, don't, I, I say it's a free country, and I don't even know what country anybody watching this lives in. But you can do whatever you want. But I would, I would definitely ask to engender a sense of understanding, if nothing else, that before jumping into the comments, before jumping on anybody in a response, you know, try to think in terms of like, okay, but what if this person is going through a really bad day? What if English just isn't their first language? Just ask some of those questions. Put ourselves in the shoes of the person typing out that angry, obscene, weird, whatever comment, and then move moving forward with it. And for me, it's hard because like, like I said, I don't want to feed the trolls. If somebody wants to offer me honest criticism or feedback, that's great. And that I interact with, I'll answer questions like critical or thoughtful questions that are basically seeking for information or just looking to like ask me why I'm doing something or maybe you can ask me lots of questions, but just don't ask me what the weather is like. It's just dangerous because if I get sarcastic, which people who know me in person know I'm pretty dry and can be very sarcastic and sometimes dangerously so, the danger then of course is that if I engage and my, my tone isn't properly modulated or I write it too curtly, my response isn't what, you know, there's a chance that it comes across in a, in a hurtful or negative way that I don't intend. And so especially when something catches me off guard or I'm just like, what is this? Part of it's that I don't, I don't want to feed the trolls, like I said, but part of it's I don't want to feed into that negativity uh, unintentionally. I'm not above or against the idea of picking out particular examples of like just our, somebody accused me of having a fake beard once. I screenshotted that, you know, saved that, shared it a little bit because I didn't have a beard in my vlog, but I had a beard in my intro. Those kinds of things where you're like, what are you, why? Those are fun to share. But then there are other things that are just like, just too obviously mean or well worth passing off and not engaging in because I don't know I don't want to pile on anyone I don't want to make the internet a darker place than it already is I'm trying to add something to your life through the internet not remove something from all of our lives through the internet and that's what that would do to me so if you don't mind I love comments and for those of you I think who have been self-conscious about commenting too much because you know that I read them all you know that I respond to them all please feel free to I'm also there are some comments that I will admit I just I browse through really quick because if your comments that long probably don't have time to read the whole thing I'm gonna try to read as much of it as I can but don't don't hesitate, like feel free to comment all the time. It's great. I love seeing people regularly and I want to make sure that, especially those of you who have heard me like struggle with those before, struggle with the time, struggle with trying to figure out how to manage it. That's my problem. I'll figure it out as I go. Uh, please don't, don't feel the need to stop. And if you see me giving somebody like Jeff or Paul or one of my friends that I know from real life a hard time because they're giving me a hard time, we're just having fun. So make sure, I just want to make sure that you're aware of that as well. All of this to say, I think you guys are great and I'm really, really lucky to have you here. I'm really, really fortunate. I want to engage with humor. I want to engage with positivity. I do want to give people a hard time when they give me a hard time. I want to have fun, but I also want to err on the side of not hurting anybody and not engendering any ill will. And if there are people that, for whatever reason, don't like that, can't handle it, that, you know what, like, I can't please everyone and, and I'm not gonna try to. I'm a people pleaser and I've spent a lot of my life trying to please as many people as I could and it, it's not a good way to live my life. And I've done that with my vlog to a degree as well and I've definitely cut back on certain things because of that too. And as we approach a thousand vlogs, that's one of the things that it won't change dramatically, but I'm gonna slowly and steadily kind of release myself from a little bit. Like if you don't like me and you don't want to, if you don't want to watch me be myself, I don't know who you want to watch me be. So, you know, I'm not going to be that person. But if you're here to hang out with me and see Paris through my eyes and enjoy exploring the world a little bit through my eyes as well, then this is the channel for you. Uh, and if, you know, if you think that I talk too fast, that my face is weird, my taste in music is bad, that I talk in run-on sentences, that, you know, whatever it is that you, you, if, that apparently annoys you enough to leave long comments about it, but not enough to stop watching, this is my invitation to you to go ahead and just stop watching, because why are you watching if, if, you, if you dislike what I make so much? It makes no sense. Life is too short. Life is too short. You can't waste it on me. Go live it. Go live your best life somewhere where you're gonna be happy. That's my that's my call to action today. And for those of you that are happy to hang out here, please do keep hanging out because it's really great and I'm really happy to have you. And obviously, doing much better today, feeling much happier today, doing some zoomy effects today, and delivering flowers to my guardian today.
That's what my, oh, that smelled really good. That's what I'm up to today. So I hope you have a wonderful day, wherever it is you are. If you made it this far into the video and you are in Paris, why are you watching my videos while you're visiting Paris? But if you're in Paris, I thank you for watching them. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Just, it's so beautiful outside. Why are you watching YouTube? There will be a meetup on Thursday. If you want to know when and where, you got to play the game. Go into different waypoints. Ask them if they don't tell you, like they don't know, just let me know later because I got to just keep doing follow up and I got I to gotta figure all this out. And then I'm going to post it. I'm going to cheat again and I'll post it last minute on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, there you go. I also on Instagram will occasionally uh, continue to post screenshots of people being just ridiculous or absolutely, you know, whatever. As long as it fits into that category that I think deserves a little bit of public ridicule, uh, that's the place I think I'm going to do it because like I said, it's temporary. It'll go away. Uh, and the goal is not to have a pile on. It's not like you can use that to then go and be mean to that person. It's just a way of looking at it and be like, what was this person thinking? And then you can share in the ephemeral joys of being on YouTube that I get to deal with every day. That's just, I think it's just more fun for me if I can share that with you. And I'm going to keep working on developing the ways in which that I can share these elements of my life with you uh, instead of trying to like hide them from me because I'm worried about, you know, like that's something I got to figure out. And I, and I think we're working through. And from how everything handled uh, with the situation, I'm still not going to say her name, uh, although her name will be plastered throughout the comments below, I am sure. Through this experience, like the overwhelming response is very supportive and I'm going to figure this out as I go. I'm not perfect. Please be patient with me. Feel free to offer constructive criticism as we move forward and if you feel like I've crossed a line at any point again you can feel free to let me know please just do so in a constructively critical way maybe don't you know uh, slander me and and make threats or anything like that because then I'm probably not going to listen to what you have to say and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for some more we got a lot of I got two coffee videos coming up this week different but exciting and I'm just excited to have more coffee kind of want more coffee right now I'll see you tomorrow for that